Hello, dear students. How are you doing? Are you very wonderful? Are you on cloud nine today? To be on cloud nine. This is one of the idioms that I'm going to teach you today. To be on cloud nine means to be very happy. To be extremely happy. That is to be on cloud nine. These are English idioms. What is the meaning of idioms in English? Idioms means in Shobera Mahanga, in Kinyarwanda. These are very complicated sayings or words or expressions that you cannot get easily when you don't learn them or when you don't hear people, especially native speakers, saying them or using them in their expressions. Ni izini imvugo ziba zigoye kumva iyo utazize mu ishuri cyangwa se nguzumbane abene rurimi cyangwa abandi bantu bazikoresha mu cyongereza mu mvugo bakoresha mu cyongereza these are idioms my dear friend try to follow me today i have prepared for you five english idioms uyu munsi naguteguriye idioms eshanu but we have so many idioms in english ariko tugira idioms nyinshi mu cyongereza but try to follow these five ones. Gerageza uve izi idioms sham. Before teaching you the lesson, I have the books for you. These are different English books that can help you speak English very well, very quickly. Then come and buy these books. Ngwino gure ibi bitabo. Ikindi nakubwira dufite ishuri by'icyongereza rigiza my dear. Ntabwo yari mvugo yo kwamamaza. Kuko abanyeshuri ubwabo yo mbona ukuntu bari ku interacting ubona ibafite amatsiko bari kuganira icyongereza kizamuka oh my dear i i i become very excited mitanishi machane natangazwa nuko bari kuzamura urwego rwabo then try to come and learn english here kugeza ubu turi gukora kimironko tugakorera no kuri zoom vuba hatu ratangira ishuri irishya rya zoom nice these are English idioms. My dear friend, Shutiyanje, this is the first idiom that I have prepared for you today. Iyinio idiom yambere na guteguri yumus. Early bird. Early viswanuichi. Early ni kare. Eh, kare. Early bird, ushawarakumba, umunavuze, early bird, ukumbako, arinyo ni yakare. Early bird. Inyoni ya kare. What does it mean? Na acho bivuze, ahobgo bivuze, ubju mbise gurcho na abu tunga wakumba mubjavuze. Ahobgo usoba noga early bird means someone who gets up early morning. Umu nubju kare mujiton. Early. That person is called early bird. Early bird. Bird ni inyoni. Early kare. Then early bird is someone who gets up early morning. Do you get it? You can say, John is an early bird. John is an early bird. He always arrives here at 5 a.m. John is an early bird. He always arrives here at 5 a.m. John arazinduka. Early bird is someone. Numunuzinduka. I was an early bird when I was at a secondary school. I was an early bird when I was at a secondary school. Nice. Early bird. Then the second one is on cloud nine. On cloud nine. What does it, what does it mean? What is the meaning of on cloud nine? When you are on cloud nine, you are extremely happy on cloud nine to be on cloud nine is to to be extremely happy for example you can say yesterday they were on cloud nine when they met the president they were on cloud nine they were on cloud nine they were on cloud nine. Yesterday, I was on cloud nine when I met my friend again. 
ejo nari nishimye cyane mu gihe nahuraga n'ishuti yange nanone good let's continue once in a blue moon what's the meaning of once in a blue moon once in a blue moon when you say that something is once in a blue moon that thing is very rare it is very rare to get that thing biba bigoye cyane kubona icyo kintu very rare or very rarely yes he comes here once in a blue moon yuvuze utyo ubuvuze uti ajaza hano gake cyane rimwe na rimwe ariko gake cyane ntabwo ajaza buri gihe aza gake gake very rarely once in a blue moon bisobanura gake inshuro nkeya we eat meat in our family once in a blue moon mu muryango wacu turya inyama gake gashoboka ah for example you can say they speak english once in a blue moon bavuga icyongereza gake cyane go bananas to go bananas means what ushobora kumva to go bananas numva menye ibyo ari byo nagato tugo kugenda bananas imineke ibitoki se bananas bavuze go bananas bini ibiki umuntu byuzabyumva nare ari kuvuga ngo to go bananas is to become extremely angry or sad or extremely happy nuko ba wishimye cyane cyangwa wabaye cyane that is to go bananas for example you can say she will go bananas when you tell her the story wenda inkuri zabibabaje then she will go bananas azahita babara cyane ariko nibi inkuri zaba isekeje she will go bananas wenda zishima cyane to go bananas means to be either happy or sad nukuba waba wishimye cyangwa ubabaye that is to go bananas huh? for example last week i went bananas when i received that sad story nyimara kwakire nkurumbi when i got that sad story nyimara kubona inkurumbi i went bananas i became very angry ariko shano kuvuga kuti last week i went bananas when i met my best friend eh maze guhura n'ishuti yange magara i went bananas naise numva nishimye cyane good then the last one is this one hit the sack to hit the sack is to go to bed nuzumva umuntu avuze ngo Uh, yesterday i hit the sack late yesterday i hit the sack late abakubwiye ngo ejo naryamye bwije cyangwa ntinze yes i am very exhausted now ubu ndarushye cyane ndananiwe nguya gacuho to be exhausted kugwa gacuho i am very exhausted now let me hit the sack reka nje kuryama let me hit the sack let me go to bed to bed to hit the sack means to go to bed i thank you dear students ndabashimiye cyane but before quitting leaving this stage mbere yuko mva kuri rubuga let me repeat this early bird do you still remember early bird muribuka early bird early bird no muntu uzinduka umuzindutsi wa cyane yes early bird then the second one is on cloud 9 yumu nari on cloud 9 abayishimye cyane she was on cloud 9 the third one is once in a blue moon once in a blue moon means very rarely kubikintu kitaboneka cyane cyangwa sikidakunze kubaho the next one is to go bananas to go bananas to, is to become extremely sad or excited the last one is to hit the sack to hit the sack means to go to bed Then dear students we are going to end this lesson with a wonderful saying in english we say you can lead a horse to water but you can't force it drink it ushobora kujyana ifarashi kumazi ariko ntabwo wayitegeka cyangwa ntabwo watuma iyanwa itabishaka You can give people some advice but you can't force them put those advice into action. Ujukuri 
ushobora kugira abantu inama cyangwa ukabafasha mu buryo runaka ukabereka inzira nziza ariko nabwo wabahatiriza ntabwo wabahatiriza kugira ya za nama ngo zibajemo ni wabashiramo za nama batabishaka rero uje ukora ibyo ukwiye gukora ibindi ubirekere abo ubihaye cyangwa se abugiriye inama cyangwa bufashije you can lead a horse to water but you can't force it drink it ariko ntabwo wa forcing kugira gute kugira inwe ayo mazi i am teacher jasper we are together dear friends see you next time bye bye